What's going on guys, Philosopher here, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make an overlay in Canva and export it into Streamlabs OBS, or even OBS, it applies to both. Now, Canva is a free service, it's a free website, it's very, very cool, uh, I highly recommend it. However, the only issue is you can't export transparent PNGs with the free version, only the paid version allows that. But I know a workaround if you get a little bit creative is not very hard, uh, and I will teach you guys right now, so let's get right into that. Okay, so as you can see here, I have a overlay I already made. I'm really big on the uh, the pink and the blue, light blue kind of color palette. That's been what I've been doing for the online tournaments for like the last couple of months now. Uh, and so I just was experimenting and made a new one. And it's pretty simple, but we're going to start from scratch. So we're going to delete this one down here that I was working on. And we're going to make a new one up here. And so I have my background set to uh, blue. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this really basic for you guys. Okay, so we're going to start with a white background. We're going to go to elements, and everything is going to be squares and rectangles. It's going to be very, very simple. Exit out of that. And we're going to go to shapes. This is going to be rectangles the whole time. So I'm going to go ahead and make this. Change it to pink. And actually, no, I'm going to change it to blue for my background. And we're going to drag this like so, and then drag it like so. So one quick thing. If you use the side ones, that changes just that side. If you use the horizontal, the uh, diagonal ones over here, it keeps the ratio locked in. So if you have something that's like 16 by nine, uh, for instance, like a video game window or a uh, your, your camera feed, you wanna keep it 16 by nine. So here's a quick tip. If you don't have a screenshot with you that you can reference, make it, Make the actual file 17 by 20, something that's 16 by 9, uh, 1920 by 1080, 720 by uh, 10, uh, 1080 by 720, something like that. And you basically just have a template. So all you have to do, I'm clicking on it, Control C or right click, copy, and Control V uh, to paste it or right click paste if you want to do it that way. And what I'm going to do is this is going to be my camera feed right here. This is my camera feed. So I'm going to put it right down here and I'm going to change the color to a nice pink. Boom. So right there, that's that's a decent size. I'm gonna click on it and I, you can use the arrow keys to move it up one pixel at a time. I believe that's the unit that they use when you use the arrow keys. So we're gonna do diagonal up and to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's just a good distance. It gives it enough space right here. So it gives the uh, actual picture a little bit of depth, a little bit of space to it. And we're gonna click on this right here again. And we're going to control V. Uh, we already had it copied, so we don't really have to do too much. And I'm going to do another one, drag it to right about there. And again, I'm going to change the color to pink. Keep it simple. Simple color palette here. And let's just take a look at this. It's okay. Uh, that'll work just fine. So you want to make sure it's exactly flush. I think I might have shifted a little bit so the ratio is still good. But something to keep in mind. So all we have to do now is we have the main layout set, but now we have to make it to where we have the frame. And that's really, really simple. We're gonna take the first one, the big one, copy it, paste it, and just put it right on top of it for right now. And we're gonna change the color uh, to a nice green. That green should work just fine. And so we're just gonna shrink it down a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shrink it from the corner right here, just like that. And then all you have to do is pull it and it should click right to the center of this. And just like that, same thing over here, you control V, control C, hover over it, and we're just gonna change it to green. Boom, now it's green. Shrink it down just a little bit, get it right in the center, and now you should have a perfectly good border. And then I just wanna get a little bit fancy here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to elements, I'm gonna go to shapes, see all shapes, and I wanna see if I can find something that's a little bit tapered, perhaps. Let's, let's, let's try this. Let's see what this looks like. We're going to see how much I can shrink this down. I think that'll work nicely. Yeah, we'll go there. We'll go there. Boom. And I'm going to hit T for text and put the philosopher show. And I, I just want a more bold font. Oh, I kind of like that. All right, so let's move it up here first. Get it in there. Get it right centered. I'm going to change, this is already centered, oh no it's not, oh yes it is, yes it is, there we go, right there, now it's centered, I'm going to change the color to green, that'll make sense in just a second, and I'm going to try to get the size as nice and 
flush in there as possible without it being too much. So that's about the size. Let's do 34. Let's line it up one more time. Bam. Okay, so not the prettiest, but it'll do for now. It gives you an idea of how to do it. So we're gonna hit download. We're gonna go to PNG, keep it on PNG. Uh, we can't do transparent background, as I said, but we can select whichever one we want. And I'm just gonna do this one right here. So we're gonna download that, hit download, only gonna download page two. And I'm going to open it up in a folder like so. And then I'm gonna pull, this is gonna get a little weird. It's gonna get a little weird, but we're gonna pull in the photo here. I'm pulling it into OBS right up here. And I did it in 720, but it should still line up enough to illustrate my point. So for now, I'm gonna make it invisible. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna to go to transform, fit the screen. When we pull it back up, it'll be on there, but I wanna pull it to the bottom for now. So let's see what it looks like behind. So there, I, I, you can't see, it's not working, right? It, it does not work properly. I'm gonna hide it again for now so you can see. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna to go to filters. We're gonna to go to, hit the plus button and go to color key or chroma key. Either one should work just fine for this. And we're gonna go ahead and just stick with green for right now. And we're gonna hit done. Now let's turn it back on and see what it does. It does nothing. But what we need to do now is pull up this similarity thing right here and you get the feed right there and just like that it's working just fine now now all i have to do is slide it over top of me now i'm i'm behind it i'm see i'm within the realm of this i haven't even lined it up properly yet and then this right here is also working but let's just pull up something else besides obs so that it doesn't look so weird for you so i have my overlay off i'm going to take my actual video feed my display capture right here. I have it locked. I'm gonna unlock it just for you guys. And now you can see I can move it, right? I can move my feed back and forth. And so I'm gonna turn my overlay back on and I'm gonna line it up for you guys. So let's turn the overlay on. As you can see, it's a little bit too small. Boom, line it up right there. And I have the little philosopher as a bonus, uh, kind of hides what I have behind it. So that's really fun. I have another one pulled up for some reason as well. Let me turn that one off. Yeah, I have that one turned on. I had two turned on apparently. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, now my video feed, I can put that away as well. My uh, Canva screen is pulled up for you guys within there. And then you also have like the overlay and you wanna make something a lot nicer or, or be playing a game or something like that. Let me hide this for you and just hide my, all my monitors. I still have a tiny bit of lining up to do, but as you can see here, Boom, pretty simple. Uh, I would put that border somewhere else if I had to give some more feedback, but you understand easily how you can make an overlay. I made this in what? Uh, less than 10 minutes. I made an overlay in 10 minutes using just squares. Pretty simple. Obviously you can get more fancy. Canva is an amazing platform with a lot of free services, but this is the most simple overlay that I could think of. Obviously I do fighting game tournaments, so I could also make a scoreboard overlay or something like that if I really wanted to. Just plop in a screenshot of the gameplay and line up all of my overlays, make it uh, 16 by nine and I'm good to go. Uh, very, very simple, very easy no reason to not make your own overlays uh, for free um, if you don't need to you know spending money on resources on overlays uh, very nice but if you can learn some skills and make yourself even more valuable as a content creator as an employee or whatever marketer uh, it makes you more worthwhile so hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna keep it very, very simple, very, very basic. Uh, I, I just think it's so easy to make overlays and I wanna help you guys out. So thank you and I'll see you in the next one.